Hi, welcome to Inkscape for Chemistry and Science Teachers. I recalled recently an activity that I saw in an old science book that uh, taught val valency using shapes that uh, plug together without any gaps. And I thought uh, that's something you could do using Inkscape. You could demonstrate as a teacher projecting this or students could even use this file, uh, which I'll leave a link to in the description of the video, to um, create different uh, compounds. So let's mouse wheel and zoom out and simplest one would be, let's say a sodium and a chlorine and see they snap together, I've got my snap to cusp modes on, that's the main thing if it's snapping where you don't want it, perhaps take off some of the snapping tools and make sure this is what this one's on so sodium chloride, NaCl what about if we had calcium, but we wanted chlorine, chloride ions to duplicate, just select and control D and then you can just drag it down, a copy so it would be CaCl2 total of 2 plus and 2 minus. Then we could try something like uh, aluminium and the oxide. See that uh, is not complete because there are gaps. Click on the oxide, control D, drag down. No, let's try the aluminium, control D, drag down. We keep alternating, control D, drag down. Suddenly it's complete. So it would be Al2, O3, total of positive 6 and negative 6. So I thought that's a nifty way of uh, playing around with valency and the students could uh, use this file themselves as I said. You could also um, copy and paste these into Word if you wanted to and students could do that if you didn't want to uh, operate within Inkscape the whole time. But I think it's easier to um, use Inkscape and if you wanted to save this as a PDF you can go File, Save As and then just select PDF there. Perhaps students can submit their uh, their um, investigations electronically. Anyway, just an idea. Until next time, bye for now.